Hey everybody, I am Jason and welcome to my channel. The time has come to set up my OS18 Frontier Sawmill in a slightly more appropriate place than in my backyard. I've cleared an area in one of the family wood lots, mostly so that I can keep the sawdust away from the house and property. There's also going to be a lot more space for me to sort through my logs, both for lumber and for firewood. It's actually not that far from the house, so it's either a short walk or a short tractor ride. It's nice to keep it out of sight. This white oak log will be the last one that I cut on the little spot I have set up on the lawn. You can see that I've really started to make quite the mess and I've really only used it two or three times here, so it's uh, about time it gets moved. My plan is to make a rigid stand out of this white oak that I can mount the track of the sawmill to and then just take the actual sawmill back and forth in the bucket of my tractor. Uh, I want it to be really nice and heavy and I want it to settle into the ground so that the track stays perfectly straight and perfectly level. This will all make more sense when you see it installed a little bit later. For now I'm just going to leave you with the sights and sounds of the sawmill in action.
So this is in the actual uh, in the bush where I will be taking most of my logs, at least for now. It's uh, very conveniently located right across the street from home, so I can just zip over and uh, do what I want when I want. The idea here is probably through the winter and uh, in times where I can't get the tractor all the way across or into tough areas, you know, muddy, whatnot, I'll be able to stock some logs in here and cut them up uh, as I like. So this uh, hardwood bed that I just made is probably the first of a few of these things I'm gonna do. Since the sawmill's portable, I don't really uh, see the advantage of having a permanent home for it. In fact, I wanna have about three permanent, no, three temporary homes for it, I suppose. Uh, one here, one maybe a little bit further in the bush, and very possibly one on the back of a hay wagon that I've got coming. So uh, I, I have some flexibility. There's lots of room here. It's definitely a nice spot. Uh, there's a swamp here, but it's, I haven't had any trouble with mosquitoes yet. I've been out, coming out here for about a month clearing and kind of picking away at things. I had to take out a maple tree and I'm probably going to have to take out just a few more small trees to make this a very functional area. But it's going to be where I'm going to center myself at least for the next couple of months. I'll probably set the tracks up out here and just take the sawmill back and forth with the tractor when I need it. Probably work just on weekends or for three or four days when I get time. And I think it's gonna be perfect. I've already done a little bit of work to try to get this sort of flat for my, uh, for my tracks. It's not bad, but again, I've got the adjustable feet. So once I get it uh, kind of close, I should be able to set it up pin perfectly uh, for, for sawing from here on in. Now I realize it's gonna settle and I know this is green wood and it's probably gonna twist. So I'm probably going to have to set it up, you know, get it close or get it right and then just check it every time I use it. If it sits for a week or two, it might settle a little bit. The wood might move. It, it's, gonna be a, uh, it's gonna be a work in progress, but eventually it's going to settle in. The thing weighs a ton and uh, I should have a, a really nice home base here for the, for the sawmill. So let's keep our fingers crossed and let's get to leveling this thing. So this is the oak in place me a little while but it's more or less level I mean keep in mind I have the leveling legs on the uh, on the rail to help but it, it's awfully close I use the level set it up I bet you it's not out an inch from one end to the other uh, a little bit of room for settling I'd imagine you know some of the uh, some of those kind of sleepers underneath I had to shim a little bit of dirt underneath you know to to get everything nice so there's gonna be settling I'm aware of it and I'm just going to put the rails on there and for the first little while I'm just going to have to check them every time I want to cut. I do my cuts in uh, kind of bursts, right? I don't, it's not like I come out and cut one log because I need it. I come out and I'll do, you know, six or eight logs. So, you know, it's worth setting up, uh, taking a little bit of time to set up and get everything right. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with this. Uh, that's extremely heavy. You, you can't move that. It's, uh, that's white oak. <laughs> uh, those are like five by fives almost and then those big slag things underneath are like four and a half inches thick so there's some weight there there's some real weight there hopefully it'll hold that uh, saw nice and solid
I've, uh, I've got the laser level set. So this is the uh, middle of the first track. I've got it set so that it the line needs to be like just above the track. So that's got to come up this one. And then I'm just going to keep going along inch by inch until I get them all about the same. And then uh, when I do, I will run a string, straighten it out, and go from there. Yeah, about like that. All right, so I am satisfied that my string is pretty straight. I am also satisfied that this entire edge is sitting perfectly level, or certainly within a crazy, crazy tolerance. So I'm going to snug up. I'm not going to over tighten. I'm just going to snug up each of the joints for the tracks. And then I'll double check everything again. And then I'll tighten everything down. Okay, the sawmill is all set up and ready to use. That's going to be the end of this video, so uh, check back in with me as I continue to set up this space and make it more usable. And if you haven't already done it, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.